Hey guys and welcome to another episode of TNT Cannon Showcasing and in this episode I'll be showing you guys a TNT Cannon that aims really well. That's that's the best name I could come up with for it. I, I can't think of anything better. So, um, just to give you guys a quick demonstration of what it does. Um, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, it uses the book to work. So, I'm trying to think of how I can describe this best. So, the book acts like a controller. So. The 1 through 15 are like the power settings you can set it to. So let's just set it to like 3 for now. So that's the distance that you can fire it. There we go. You can see 3 TNT gets dispensed. And at the end, there's 2 ammo. And it fires. So, if you want to do maybe a shorter range fire, you can do that. And I'll just dispense 1 TNT. Which is like really close range. So, you need to be careful with that one, because that could have actually damaged us, but if we do like a 2... So, uh, you guys kind of get the point. So, I'll show you guys how to build it in a tutorial now. Now, to build this cannon, it is a little bit complex, so I'll be doing this pretty slowly. So, you want to start by placing a block, and then putting down a lectern. Now, inside the lectern, you want to have a book, and the book needs to have exactly 15 pages, um, I just have spaces in all the pages, so you don't need to have anything on the pages, but if you want to, you can. Um, but yeah, so a lecture with a book, and then... Alright, and then next you want to place a block and a comparator facing away, and then another block and a comparator facing into this one, and that'll be useful for locking the comparator later. Not locking it, but it'll be... It turns off this one until we want it turned back on. And then place a block right here, and then another block in front, this is a temporary block. Place a sticky piston, and then break this block, and put a torch there. And then put a redstone block on front of the piston. So it should look like this when you're done. And now, right here, put down your button. That's the activation switch for later. And now you can put down two observers. And then just put down some blocks. And then one repeater, a couple dust, and then three repeaters. Now, these three repeaters we set to the max stick, and the one back here is just there to be there. And then down here at the end, too many blocks. Um, place down your dispenser. Now, the dispenser, you have to put TNT in yourself. I just have a pre-filled dispenser, so, yeah. Um, and for the next step, you want to place a block right there, a block right here, and then you want to start placing more dispensers along the bottom. And it should go to right here, place two blocks, some redstone dust. Alright, now we're on to the last step, which is water and a ladder. And now we're done, that's the whole cannon complete. So, um, it's actually not too bad. It's, it's, it's pretty simple, but at the same time, it's not too not simple. So let's just give it a test fire, actually, let's set it, ah sure, we'll do a one setting. There we go. Boom. And we can just do a couple more settings just to make sure we can, you know, we'll just do the highest, not the highest, we'll do a four. Now it does shoot kind of high, you can fix that. I haven't experimented with this yet. Um, you can fix it by putting some blocks along the top, but I haven't experimented with that yet. If you guys want to try that, you can give it a shot. Um, leave a comment if you find a way of making it shoot lower, but um, let's do a six. So that that's that. That's the whole canon. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next TNT Can episode. See ya.